this boom hello let me turn this down a little bit okay your sound might sound something like this uh your sound might sound something like this or if it's clipping i'm trying to uh get it to where you might be and then i'll show you what i do so okay so you're here with the behringer you want to get crispy your sound right this may be how your sound sounds right now first things first right now i'm just hooked into this one i don't think it really matters which behringer mixer you have or even if it is a behringer or another one but this is what i have going on right um i currently have my gain turned all the way up i have my highs up my lows down a little bit that's bass middle uh, medium or middle and highs right my effects are turned off. If I wanted my effects on, I could turn this up and this up. You should hear it. should hear it. should go right now. Face off, face off, face down. It'll, 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 So, you want to know about how to make a crispier sound. You don't really care about all those effects and whatnot. So, let's get into that. First things first, to get rid of this noise, as you can see, everything's muted. If I mute myself, you can still hear a staticky noise. So you can you can see that on the screen. Sorry, I have to keep adjusting this. I don't want it to clip while I'm talking. Okay, so to fix all of that, I saw a video about this. Shout out to whoever that was that did this, but you go to your control panel. Some of you may be able to just right click right here and then pull up audio properties with Windows 10. It didn't allow me to do that, so I have to go to control panel. Once I go to control panel, I have it right here, my most recent, but just show you how I do it. This one, that's hardware and sound, it's for Windows 10. Manage audio devices, click here. Under the recording section, let's see, can you see this? Yep, okay, cool. Under the recording section, I found my USB codec, which is the mixer, right click it properties levels drag it to 55 percent and if you see right there the static went away I turn this back up the static went away oh you can see the mixer right here I guess I can just leave it like this Duh. okay so you can see the mixer. Um, so if I mute this audio, so half the problem is solved right there. There's no static noise coming through. And then if you come in here on FL Studio, or not FL Studio, OBS Studio, uh, you go on the property for your codec. This is assuming that you already know how to, you know, choose your codec choose your audio device everything like that come into filters add the gain noise suppression limiter gain that just turns up the volume i can control the volume if it's too low for some reason noise suppression i just leave that on the one that it chooses first and limiter so i just i don't really edit the limiter i think i just put the in put i chose came down here click plus chose limiter and yep I just left the default setting so the limiter that keeps it from going too high keeps it from going into the red what I mean by the red is like right here it'll limit it to a certain level noise suppression takes away all that outside noise from around you and then we have the gain and I don't know if the mic is really gonna make too much of a difference once you do all of this stuff the gain, this, this just turns it up. And what I also do is I went through, because sometimes I would hear some people low and I would hear some people high. I have four different mics that I'm using. So I went through. Check, 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 check. And I check each one of these. And if it's low, I might turn up the gain. All my volumes are the same. My main over here, 
this one's kind of low but i try to just get every one of these onto the same level as far as right here in obs studio like right before the red or right close to the red because a lot of my stuff i do is live so i don't want to I don't want to have people at different volumes. And I just go through and check each one. I can just unmute them all, it's fine. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. If I had a fifth or sixth mic, check, check, check. Check, check, check. And some of you might have the one that's just four, you know, so that's how I do it. And then I just adjust the gain because um, these are already at the top level for the for their volume. So the gain just takes a little bit higher. And yeah, for some reason, it just wasn't leveling out. So that's what I use. Then after they're all level, they're hitting about the same range, like yellowish, reddish right here. Then I can just adjust this to... Hello, check, check. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna skip over that. I know that these ones work, so I can turn. I can turn this one up and down. I don't know why the main isn't controlling all of those. Uh, it's probably some other setting, but there you have it. All right, see you.